I am Bites, and I'm a mechanical engineering student at the University of Benin. For my entry in this quarter of the Otia Global Student Contest, I will be optimizing the leg of a quadruped robot. In quadruped robots, the distribution of mass play a crucial role in stability and motion. Here we see a robot with heavier legs. Notice how stable it becomes while walking. The extra inertia in the legs makes it difficult to lift them without the stubby balance. Now, compare that to this robot, where most of the mass is concentrated near the torso. These legs move more smoothly and the robot remains stable. This is why it is essential to design lightweight legs for quadrupeds. This is the assembly of the quadruped robot that I will be optimizing. In this robot leg, I will be optimizing the several camp, the femur and the tibia. First, I isolated the robot's leg to analyze its motion and structural behavior separately. This helped in identifying areas for weight reduction without affecting the rest of the system. Next, I ran a motion analysis to study how the leg moves and interact with dynamic forces. Using boundary data from the motion analysis, I performed a finite element analysis to visualize stress distribution. Before proceeding with the optimization, I separated the design space from the non-design space by using the partition tool on areas where they are joints. Also, I filled up holes in parts to give the server a robust design space to work with. Next, I apply symmetry and manufacturing constraints to the different parts. Now, moving on to the optimization, I started with the servo cam. Next, I proceeded to optimize the femur. To determine the boundary condition for the tibia, I constrained the base and rerun the motion analysis. Next, I proceeded to optimize the tibia. I then assemble all the optimized parts and rerun the motion analysis. To validate the optimized designs, I conducted finite element analysis on different parts using the dynamic loading conditions from the motion analysis. The analysis results of the several camp show that the new design has a minimum factor of safety of 14, compared to the initial design, which had a factor of safety of 4. This indicates that the new design is more structurally efficient and offers a better load distribution. The analysis also shows that both the femur and the tibia maintain their structural integrity. Here is a visual representation of the optimization results. It shows that we reduce the mass of the servo cam by 68%, the femur by 55% and the tibia by 56%. I then proceeded to render the final design assembly. This shows that the optimal design not only lightens the robot legs, making it more efficient and stable, but the organic geometry of the polynomial also enhances the overall aesthetics of the robot.